20th Sunday in Ordinary Time ESC, the fire of transformation. When someone in a public building cries, fire, it will probably produce fear and great commotion. On the other hand, in cold areas, fire arouses warm emotions. Fire is used in rural areas for cooking food. It is around fire, especially in our context here in Cameroon, that we roast corn, cocoa yams, and we begin dialogue and honest conversations. In effect, fire connotes what is good, but fire can also destroy. Fire was also very important for Old Testament sacrifices. The fire on the altar of burnt offering was a divine gift, which came out originally from the presence of the Lord in order to consume the offering. Leviticus chapter 9 verse 24. In the letter to the Hebrews chapter 12 verse 29, God is described as a consuming fire. In many cases, therefore, fire symbolizes God's presence. This can be seen in the burning bush experience, Exodus chapter 3 verse 2. The Shekinah glory in Exodus chapter 14 verse 19, Numbers chapter 9 verse 15 to 16. And also, let's think of Ezekiel's vision in Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 4. On the other hand, Fire has many times been an instrument of God's judgment. Numbers chapter 11, verse 1 and 3. 2 Kings chapter 1, verse 10 and 12. Fire has also been a sign of God's power. Judges chapter 13, verse 20. 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 38. In the New Testament, the Holy Spirit is associated with fire. John the Baptist predicts that Jesus will be the one to baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Matthew chapter 3 verse 11. The Holy Spirit also appeared as tongues of fire on those present at Pentecost. Acts of the Apostles chapter 2 verse 1 to 11. John the Baptist talked of a baptism of fire as a way to introduce Jesus and the baptism he was to perform. And in our gospel today, Jesus says that he has come to bring fire on earth and how he wished that the fire should be burning. The fire evoked by Jesus can thus be the fire of God's anger directed to the vices in our world today like injustice, oppression, faithlessness, lack of trust in God. This fire has to burn away until what is precious and beautiful is revealed. On a more positive and appreciative note, it is also the fire that edifies us so that we are transformed into the likeness of Christ. The fire has also come to signify the transforming power of the Holy Spirit. Those who accept God will be like the fire that helps people to live in unity, transformation, and in the fear of God. Those who reject the fire will fight tooth and nail to put it off. Anytime we do God's will, we are men and women on fire. But this fire is not accepted by all. So some people will do everything to put it off. It may be physical, like in the case of Jeremiah, in our first reading of today, from Jeremiah chapter 38, verse 4 to 6, and verse 8 to 9. Jeremiah's preaching was like a fire that had to transform and be like a wrath of judgment to the sinful generation. No wonder they wanted to put Jeremiah to death. He was persecuted and even thrown into the well. The same fire transformed the heart of Ebed Melech who pleaded for, Je for Jeremiah to be saved. People would discourage you in many ways so as to put off the fire burning in you. Many will not be at peace, especially when you denounce sin, when you follow the doctrines of the church, and when you read the Bible. In our world today, 
sin has become a usual way of life and many people, even close family members, do everything to put off the fire on those who are having it and being transformed by it. The attack may also come from people who are in the same denomination with you. Many Christian denominations take time to fight each other. This is the fight within the one big family left by Christ. The fire within us should unify us and transform us into likeness with Christ. In every case, we must follow the injunctions from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 to 4. We must remain witnesses and have our eyes fixed on Christ who endured the cross and is now seated at God's right hand. Jesus opposed sinners with much courage. We are also encouraged to fight sin even to the point of death. This means that we must burn and be the fire of transformation willed by Jesus. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.